Howdy, hello, and how do you do? Welcome to another stream with me, the great and mighty Quaffles. And in today's stream, uh, one second, I'm gonna mute my mic and move it. There we go. It's a little bit out of my face now. Uh, but yeah, yesterday I got home, ate food, and passed out. I've been working myself ragged, but I am back today with a little bit more energy. And we, because of like, you know, the scheduling thing, I was going to do Insane Craft yesterday, but I was too tired. So we're going to be doing the SP because I'm like, you know, every other day sort of thing. And so, yeah, we're going to get straight into the SMP tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming in Sandcraft because I really want to. And then uh, Friday. Is it today, Tuesday or Wednesday? That's a problem that I don't know that. No, today's Wednesday. Okay, so tomorrow's Thursday, which, yeah, I'm going to be streaming in Sandcraft. And we've got um, the SMP again on Friday. And on Saturday, I'm going to do a much larger stream of Insane Craft. Uh, one thing I really like about this older version is that I have um, much prettier looking stuff. So, yeah, we ended off last stream by getting half of the obsidian I wanted to get. Because I wanted um, four for an enchanting table and twelve for my... Um, um, 12 for my nether portal because i just um enjoy having a three by three a, th a three by three portal because i just think it is more aesthetically pleasing and easier to like put into some sort of build later on um i figured you know what why not get it right now but i'm actually i'm really excited with the progress i made because i got really lucky getting diamonds right off the bat and so i'll be able to just head back up and um I don't think any of the other like SMP people have found a spawner, so I might spend some time trying to find a mob spawner and get a mob grinder going. Um, hello, Karizin. I am fantastic. How are you? <clears throat> I am a little bit tired, but yeah, still fantastic. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna head back up. We have, like, a cool little temporary cave thing. And, like, with these, um, couple of streams, like, my goal is just to get fully enchanted diamond gear. That is what I'm gunning towards, because once I get that, then I want to do, like, some, like, searches for netherite and whatnot and start to get it. But once you have full enchanted diamond gear, you're pretty much good to just do whatever you want. Um... Because, yeah, once I'm at that point, I have um, pretty much free reign to, well, get more um, done and make some cool builds and be able to mine all the resources I want quicker. Um, because, well, I'm going to definitely use a lot of these SMP streams to get better at Minecraft building. Because I really do love it and it's really fun. But, um... I feel like I'm always hesitant to start a build. And so with this one, like with this thing, I'm going to work on just jumping into a build and transitioning it and see where it ends up. So, uh, hello, zombie. How are you doing? You're very, hey, you're very aggressive and rude and I don't appreciate it. I was saying hi, being all peaceful. And look at him. He just wants to eat my brains. I mean, I guess that's what you can come to expect with these guys. But yeah, um... Is this a new SMP? Yeah, it's very new. Like, we just, um... Like, oh, so we had a SMP a while back, and, like, like new SMP sort of do, it kind of fell apart. Um, there was a couple people, like, who moved, I'm pretty sure. And some, like, people who had their work schedules changed. And, um, well, I was 
like getting back into school at the time so there's just a lot of complications that um got in the way of the last one but now we ki we've kind of been working towards getting another one up and running for a while now we have some more people behind it um so and now like yeah it is a new one started up relatively recently i did turn up the brightness didn't i yeah it looks pretty good on the stream it's still dark but it's a dark that yeah is processable uh, I guess I'm gonna keep grabbing some iron. Uh, I'm to the point where I have enough iron, I'm pretty sure, to transition me into where I'm gonna get a um, enchanted diamond pick. Because once I get enchanted, then I'll be golden. Ooh. Hmm. Um, 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 bread. Still have more bread on me. I'm really excited though that I found where some shulk was because I took a um, screenshot of that and I am most definitely going to be like looking into that further um, because I think there would be perfect practice since I'm pretty sure this world is on normal um, in my RL craft series which I want uh, not RL craft she's um, in my hardcore Minecraft series that I was doing for a little while um, my new goal is to try and kill the warden so I want to get like to four full netherite gear um i guess try and kill enough withers to get some beacon set up um get some dogs to be able to help like distract it maybe even some cats some parrots stuff like that uh, the parrots could probably like you know fly around above its head and try and kill the warden which is going to be a hard ask but i'm hey hey i was looking away from my screen to talk to my audience and you getting all up in my face, being rude. I don't appreciate it. Sheesh. Okay. I think I need to make some more bread. But first, we gotta deal with all these rude people. My gosh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm looking forward to when I can get together with some of the other people. Because I've been, um, like, I actually do have a character, um, that I have been working on for a long time. I am the great and mighty waffle, and I have conquered many of land with iron fist, and I have come to this place to spread my buttery goodness as far as possible for waffle kind. I also really like potato. And that, like, honestly, that's one of my favorite accents ever. Because it's just so freaking cool. And I'm so glad that i finally gotten a little bit better. Like, it, like I think it's borderline <laughs> almost offensive. But I don't want it to be. Because, like, it's honestly one of the coolest accents I've heard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I actually spend a good amount of time, like, listening to people who have that sort of, like, Russian accent. So that I could try and get better at it. Hey! Well, speaking of what I was looking for, let's make some torches real quick before some more mobs spawn in. Well, <laughs> that was pretty easy. Say and you shall receive, I suppose. Let's see, and it's a skeleton spawner, so we have all the arrows we will ever need now. I guess, um... Wow, that, that is honestly a better start than I could possibly ask for. Um, so I've got, I got diamonds right off the bat. And I got a mob spawner right off the bat. So, yeah, I'm gonna be, um digging a hole up but before i do that i'm gonna make some more bread missed your first stream on the um honestly uh all i really did was um i walked around um found a uh, pretty cool village actually it had like a um nether portal like a ruined portal in the middle of the village which was kind of cool but it didn't really have too much important i grabbed a bunch of hay bales from the village and then i made like a temporary homestead in a cave and then dived into the mines got diamonds and that's about where i left off 
um because right now i'm only able to do really hour and a half streams after school because i am also doing cross country so it takes a lot out of me and i need to have a part of the day to relax um one second i'm going to uh just open up the i use this to open up the folder i need to take a quick second just to um because we have like a discord for this and i just want to send them the picture of where the mob spawner is because eventually i'm going to be actually this thing doesn't pause i'm gonna burrow into a hole real quick um, cause I would sometimes pause in like the hardcore, but I do not want to just die while I'm doing something super quick. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. We've got the screenshots. Cool, cool, cool. Not that one. It's way down here. Perfect. Um, but yeah, no, like, um, there wasn't too much that went on during the last stream, I don't think, um, that was, like, too, too crazy. Actually, I'm gonna join the Discord just in case somebody pops in and says hello, so who knows, we might have, like, somebody who is one of the fellow streamers on this jump in and say the hellos. Um, where is the... Oh, screeny. There it is. We called it screeny. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Upload file. Hmm. This is probably something I should do after the stream, but uh, I just don't. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Now we just... Alright... Yep, it's sent. And so now I need to look into my screenshots for another purpose, because I forgot where I live. If that's even possible, like, I totally forgot where my house is, and so I want to dig, like, when I dig up, I want to dig in the direction of my home. Because that would be helpful. Uh, so let's just... Actually, I don't remember which one was from my stream. I better have put it somewhere, right? Am I really that dumb that I didn't mark down where my house is? No way. Okay, we're gonna assume that this is it. Uh, <laughs> if it isn't, um, we're about to go in some fun directions until I remember where my house is. <laughs> Alright, so we've got 280, 810. Cool. And now we're back into it. Sorry for that. Um, just wanted to do that real quick. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, we need to go this way and this way. So we will start by just going straight this way. Um, and who knows, depending on how I end up feeling, at some point I might end up making a like minecart track that leads down here. Because that might make things easier. Uh, let's switch out my offhand. Oh my god, why am I still... Ugh, F3 is so gross looking. It's covering my screen. I forgot, I still have gold armor in my pocket. <sighs> but yeah, so we're gonna get back up to the house. And I think the first order of business might just be to set up this mob grinder. Because I have a, um, there's this video that I saw on YouTube this one time. And I've basically been using that as my schematic for, um, the mob grinder I build. Uh, but I think I might need to head into the nether first because it requires soul sand. Um, yeah. I keep saying um a lot. That's weird. I need to stop doing that because I just realized that I'm doing it. It's become like my weird transitionary thing. Hmm. Uh, it's actually so cool that I've 
gotten all this stuff just lined up in a row because i was really worried about falling behind the rest of the group because i don't have as much time to stream i was like no the only thing i have is the grind because I, I love the grind for these types of things just you know doing the classic old stuff in minecraft it's anything from uh just doing like a strip mine uh to building a small little starter house those things will just always sit well in my mind i used to uh play with a bunch of people just on xbox 360 and since like they were friends that i didn't really know very well um if i were to enter in a stream with them uh, not a stream with them if i were to enter in a world with them there was a good chance that I would never see the world again. So I just got really, really good at getting to diamond gear and then stopping. Because by that time, like, we would stop playing and I would just uh, give them all my gear and leave. And then I'd never see them again. And so I'd have, like, these fun times where I would just, um... You are so rude. But I would have these fun times where I would just come into the world, um get stone tools and then just grab a bunch of wood dive into the mines and i would put a door up in front of like the strip mine and just say and that just says like do not enter house of waffles um and i replaced that with the word waffles because my old gamer tag was cringy as heck <laughs> But yeah, though, I, after, like, maybe, like, a half an hour or so of them, like, messing around and stuff, I would just come out of the cave and be like, I am in full diamond. That was, like, my best moment. Most of the times, it would take closer to, like, an hour or two to get up to full diamond gear. Because, um, yeah, I was a lot younger. <laughs> mm. And then when I got into those lucky streets, streaks, it was really cool. I really need to be lighting up this cave, but I also don't feel like making more torches. Ah, I'll just make more torches. No point in being lazy about it. Come on, torches. I need you. <laughs> you will be my greatest friends. My closest comrades. My secret confidants. The people who hold my hand through the hardest of times. I will always appreciate you. Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have any water. That's a problem. I'm gonna need to hydrate after this stream. <sighs> also really like this background music because it's pretty chill. It's good stuff. Hey, I got more coal. I was just thinking about how I was using a lot of that. And look at the world. Give me what I want. Yes. Because you can never get enough coal. <laughs> My mindset is I always want like a couple, like three-ish, four-ish stacks of coal. Um, if it takes me a while to get to diamonds. Um, cause by the time you get to like three or four -ish stacks, you're basically set until you can get a fortune diamond pick. And once you get a fortune diamond pick, you'll probably get efficiency on it. And that means you can just go and get all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm really glad that I got some background music in the streams. Cause for a while I didn't have it. It was because I was trying to learn how to mix music. Uh, so I could just have my own music on it. Um, and I'm still doing that, I'm still working on it, but I have a lot less time now that I'm, you know, streaming and, uh, doing high school, which is fun, but, <laughs> um, and so I found, like, this really chill, just, YouTube channel, um, and this play, this, uh, this freaking, um, video thing is, like, 11 hours long or something, and it's just a bunch of chill stream music. Um, there's this, like, group of people or whatever that made it so that, you know, streamers could use it who just didn't have the skills or the money, uh, to get... Oh! Hello, village! Huh. <laughs> well, this isn't my home village. No, definitely not. But, um, I found another village, I guess. <laughs> 
Let's just take a quick nap here. <laughs> that was... I wonder if this one's been raided yet. Because I did go pretty far out to start. Because that's usually how I start. Is just by picking a direction and going as far as possible. Um, and I... Like, that was something I did normally. Where I would just, you know, go as far as I could. But I'm kind of glad that I ha have grown that habit. Because in an SMP... Um, if you don't do that, you're probably not going to find as much stuff. Because uh, eventually other people will delve out into the depths and the darkness. And the further, and the further out you go, um, well, the better, you're, the better off you are. So I already have a brewing sand, so I don't need to take that from them. I already have carrots, I already have potatoes. I want to make a farm of like each variety. Because um, that's just, that was like a passion project that did in the last SMP. I built like a, uh, I dug it out all out underground. Like a big, big room. And I just made a pretty sizable farm for every single type of farmable resource. That way I could just have it in time I needed it. I didn't, didn't really use it very much. I just kind of grew a bunch of potatoes and ate those. Um... Actually, no, um, I was playing a different character then because I had, like, a different skin and a whole different thing. Like, I was Drake Destructo, a little bit more, um, edgy. Um, I recently did, like, a rebrand because I just thought it was more fun. Into Mr. The Waffle Man. Because I feel like the name Waffles just invokes a little bit more, like, peacefulness. Alright, that turns into red dye, not seeds. Even though I kind of consider beetroot to be one of the more useless um, <laughs> plants, I still end up getting it uh, just because I want to have one of everything, so why not? Hmm. You know, in general, beetroot just tends to be a bad um, food. Way, 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 way. I almost made big mistake. Almost. But I didn't have the cords for the um actual thing but i didn't mark my exit point so let's just find where i dug out of the ground i'm pretty sure i saw it from this angle let's see was it in the ground over here i don't think i was this close though it was a bit further away And worst case, we just make a big pillar and look down. Hey, there's a ravine right there. That's pretty cool. Hmm. This feels like important information to remember, Waffles. How could you forget? Like diaper, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody go laugh at you for being dumb, dumb head. Or did I go to the other side of the village? Was I at the other side of the village when I entered here? I might have been. Maybe? Maybe. Was I over here? No, I walked past a different building than that. Okay, I will do one little roundabout. And if not, I'll just screenshot the actual, like, village and... Let's see. Because I remember seeing distinctly that building. So, what I was from over here. But where over here? Huh. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. I heard that song recently, and I completely forgotten about it. And then, like, it just hit me. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I, I know where the cords to the uh, thing is anyway, and that's what matters. I don't really care too much about refinding the exit hole that I made. Because worst case, I'll make like a water elevator to it and just go right above it. And I'll be fine. Damn, my kidneys. I keep breaking my kidneys. I'd be very careful with heights. Um, I remember it might have been the last... Uh, um, the last hardcore Minecraft stream I did, I, um, jumped off a cliff and just died because I'm an idiot. 
Um, and now I'm a lot more cautious with glyphs. One big benefit of um, play. Why did I keep F3 on? I think I kept it to like look at the chords. But once you do that, you don't need to look at them any longer. Oh, I forgot to bring my boat with me. We'll just swim. Hmm. But, but yeah, no, I felt dumb in the moment. I just jumped off a cliff and died. And I like, I sat because um, it was actually the first one I did and the last one I did where I like one of them, I fell off a cliff. I was attacked. I'm pretty sure something like that. Um, but the first one, I was building a mob spawner. I was building it way up high um, so that no other mobs would interfere with the spawns. It would just be spawning those mobs in particular. I was in the middle of getting full like enchanted diamond armor. But I put it high enough up that I couldn't see the ground. And so I'm like, okay, I'll go the fast way down. I sprint, jump off. Going like, alright, this way's the water. Because I lived right next to an ocean. I jumped the wrong way. I turned, tried to get back, and I landed one block short of the water. I was so sad. How did I... Okay, we need to go this way. I don't know how I got turned around like that. But yeah, though, I, I was so sad. Um, but I just had to, you know, pick myself up and go back into the next one, because... That was one thing I, like, mentally prepared myself for, is that I have to be able to restart from nothing. Someone's knocking on my door, so I'm gonna have to do a real quick BRB. Uh, but you can see my intermission screen. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, boof. Yeah, nice and real quick. I usually try to make those things quick. Um, I just, um, I just had someone come in and be like, "Hey, I know you, like you were looking for better lighting because right now you can you can kind of see my face with this lighting, but I want some better like you know in my face so you can see me. Cause look at me, I'm so pretty. But, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, get some more lighting like pointing towards me and making me look a little bit more prominent closer to the viewers like uh, i also work to like you know change the camera angle to make that better as well but um they just showed me a cool lighting thing i might be able to set up to make uh, my setup look better and so yeah i had to like gesture them out of the room and be like but people look at those people this is pretty yep yeah, that that's the village that i found in the last stream so that means um I'm pretty sure my house would actually maybe be, no, it's not in that direction. It's past the ravine, wherever the ravine is. Oh, yep. No, it is this way. I just walked past it then. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, I've been, I've been working towards improving my setup, um, a heck of a lot. Um, and I've been really enjoying the whole thing. There it is. Um, I put a lot of trees <laughs> in front of it and that's why i didn't recognize it because i planted them before i left and didn't actually check it out like recheck it out yet but this is my home it spawned in like this so i just thought you know what this is too cool not to have as like my basic starter base and so i literally just walled off the entryway and put the basics in here so i'm gonna get this iron smelting up 
I'll probably set up my nether portal soon-ish, but first, actually, let's put this uh, copper and gold in through there. Um, but we are going to make an enchanting room real quick. This is my mine and where it goes down. What I might do is um, take the time to actually drill a hole. Um, to the like directly in like the most direct route possible to the um mob spawner and that way um yeah i'll have to run it the first time so that i can you know sit there and stab stuff but once i get a fortune pick it'll be a lot easier for me to uh, uh It'll be a lot easier for me to get the gold and iron necessary to make the entire rail, rail system a reality. What am I doing? I just tried to make an enchantment table with lapis. That would act. That would make it so much easier to make an enchanting table, though. Like make XP prices steeper. <laughs> make the economy crash and fall. I have a bed over here still, right? Yep. Take a nap. Hmm. But yeah, it will be like nice and um, kind of even thematic with how the enchantment table functions. <laughs> but yeah, my plan for this house is to kind of make it uh, my my functional house. So everything in here is just going to be optimized to be as like functional as I can make it. And uh, the other builds that I make are going to be pretty like one of my plans for a house is i want to build a giant toaster kind of like my intermission screen that i got to show you uh because i just think that that'd be cool to do it's a giant toaster i'm, de I'm debating on if i want to make a lot of it out of uh quartz or if i want to get all the iron necessary to make a giant toaster because that would be a big flex right to make just a giant toaster out of iron <laughs> Because iron has one of the most versatile uses, I think. <clears throat> We're gonna make... Because I want to start making, like, a big room for my farms. <clears throat> I'm debating on how big I want to make it. We'll make... I want to take a look outside real quick. So let's see the how. Yeah, it's pretty big. I might want to. I'm gonna dig down further for like my big farm room. Oh yeah, it would cost so much time. So that's like a later investment once I've spent a good enough amount of time in the mines. But yeah, I'm gonna dig because of the fact that the mountain slopes down. I'm gonna dig a little lot a bit further down for my um, food farm. And I'll make just my enchantment table right over in this little divot area that I'm making. So we're going to dig it in a little bit further. Hello, Cole. Ah, well, eh, we're getting close enough to where I'm going to start getting mending. Because I actually decided to make my home this area most prominently because there was a village so close by. Um, and that way I will be able to make a mending villager. Uh, I just call them mending villager because, well, I'm going to have it so they, you know, sell mending. <laughs> Then I'll probably get, like, if the mending villager doesn't also buy paper, I'll get a cartographer and just make it so they buy paper. Because sugarcane, selling sugarcane tends to be the way that I, um, like, predominantly get my emeralds in Minecraft. Because I just think it's one of the easiest ways. And do we want to... I kind of like how this looks, but we might like put it back in here like that and dig out this wall like this. And um, Once we get some quartz, I think I want to put some of that on the ceiling 
because uh, I know this is supposed to like be more function than pretty, um, but I still want it to look kind of cool. We have some leather, but not enough to make all of the bookshelves we're, we're going to need. I don't think they have a librarian house in the village that I'm next to. I have enough diamonds to potentially make a diamond sword. Not going to go into the nether yet. Put the coal up here. Just trying to center my thoughts real quick. Wow, 43, 44. That's actually a pretty even split. That was on accident. I think I left my crafting table. Slightly unfortunate. Okay, we have another book here. We're just gonna grab... Oh, I already grabbed my sugar cane. <laughs> Because the sugarcane farm is going to be the first um, first resource I start farming. And so while I am building the area that I'm going to farm it in. Ugh, this is a really steep hill that I don't like. Steep isn't fun. Especially because a lot of the area isn't actually, you know, plantable for sugarcane like a straight line i i guess i'm just gonna i'm gonna make a little mini plot for um the sugarcane right now and then once i get the room set up i will just move them let's dig out a little bit of area here because it's important that i get the sugarcane growing right away and actually with that skeleton farm it will actually be a lot easier hmm. i've got a lot of cool things i can do with how lucky i'm getting with all the resources <laughs> if i'm being honest i am very glad that the resources are being as nice to me as they are um in this start because i started out with a like i got diamonds I got the, uh, the only thing I could ask for more is books. If I could find books just sitting out in the wild, that would be my ideal Minecraft experience right now. Only my hardcore worlds could be this nice to me. Because <laughs> I, I would love that. That'd be so great and so happy and so peaceful. Then again, I, yeah. then again, I was running kind of risky towards the beginning because I didn't even like really eat food, like because I didn't really have that much food on me. I was like running from animal to animal, just getting the carcass, and that was how I was surviving. Okay. Oh gosh, this shader looks really cool. I love this shader. It, it's just it's so pretty. Look at that. Just everything. It's got like nice shadows. And the night sky is gorgeous. It reminds me of my time down in New Mexico. Because out there there's a lot less like buildings and light pollution during the night. So you can just look up and it's like, whoa, shiny stars. I could actually see a lot of the constellations. It was just, oh. A good night sky is one of those things you'll just never forget. Alright, now uh, let's put this bucket away. And let's just get, um, uh, yeah, not gonna use you yet. Got that. Furnace doing work. Nice job, Furnace. As much as I want to go fishing, I'm not going to. I, I, we need to mine some of our trees. Because I'm running low on wood. But you didn't even know the uh, shaders until I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, though, like, it... You don't really see it until suddenly you see it. Like, look, you got the shadows and stuff. Like, this is not how normal Minecraft looks at all. But it's... Yeah. It's close enough to normal Minecraft that you're like, Whoa, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. 
like, heck, the sun is not supposed to be a sphere. <laughs> and the clouds are not supposed to look that cloud. Yep, yep, that's that's the end of that statement. They're not supposed to look that cloud. They're supposed to look like they're fun little blocks. There's like a fun style in itself that I do really enjoy. Just look, that one looks like a rectangle. That one also looks like a rectangle. Instead of that one looks like a bunny. That one looks like a chicken. I need to go up a little bit to get some of this wood. I think I'll only need like two. Okay, yeah. Come over here. I'm not going to leave any floating trees. I'm not a maniac. Anybody else up here want some of this? Want some of this waffle goodness? Yeah, I didn't think so. Waffle's too powerful for you. Give me a menacing roar. Ferocious and fierce. Like the wind. All right, there we go. We got some more wood, and I actually got two sticks, which is perfect. But here we go. Got some logs. Why are you getting back to nighttime again? I'm gonna put my stuff is away. Is grab myself a pickaxe, and because uh, I haven't really thoroughly looked at the sky this stream. My accents are the best. Thank you. I have worked on them for a long time. And a lot of them kind of just come up like randomly at this point because of how long I've spent like, you know, actually practicing them. Uh, it's actually mainly because of D&D. &D. Uh, I'm a dungeon master. If you know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, you know, you delve into the worlds of the stuff and the stuff is really cool. But yeah, I've been I've been working on developing accents for, accents for a long time so I can be more immersive as a dungeon master. And so diving from thing to thing, like add it, it adds so much more depth to the world when people aren't just talking like you. They are, yeah, they are talking to a world full of people rather than just the DM behind the screen. But anyway, the sky. They've got shooting stars. They've got some, like, I think maybe there are some actual constellations that they mapped out in the sky, but it looks like a lot of them are just, like, new constellations that they put there. Um, it's got, like, some cool galaxy. Yeah, I know, right? And, like, it it's just, it's really nice. Like, twinkle and stuff. It's just, it's so serene. Just, wow. And you got the moon. And there is one thing that's weird about this uh, one. I'll just get up to like a proper height so I can show it off. That, just a giant planet. Sometimes it's all like perfectly visible, but it, it's just a giant planet. I don't know what it's there for. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's just... I was admiring the stars. Thank you. Take this to your friends. Alright. <laughs> but, yeah. This is just a giant planet off in the distance. Um, and, oh, it's just so pretty. Ah, that's a lot of creepers. Do I ever... Speaking of, alright. Cool. Um, I think that's my cue to leave. I put my shield away, which is never a good idea, into Minecraft. Yeah, we'll fight this spider. You really want to go at me, Twinkle Toes? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's actually kind of dangerous. I might want to extend that ledge just because I don't want a creeper to drop down and try and bite my ankles. <laughs> yeah, the sheep just witnessed the re-murder. Because I murdered that guy a long time ago, buried him, and then he came back. He's like, I shall take revenge. I punch him in the face, and now he's dead again. And the sheep only knows about the one where I was like, Oh yes, I saved this poor innocent sheep from this zombie. That I definitely didn't see him before. Yes. Thank your hero, Sir Waffles. Alright. So anyway, before we went on this big tirade, we were beginning 
to delve into the deepest, darkest depths, the deep, dark, down, deep, down death, if you will. And once we delve down into the deep, dark, down, deep, down death, we shall discover something gruesome, terrifying. What is it? More stone. It's menacing. Horrifying, even. All right. <laughs> Oh, this was a uh, thing that I did with Cole. You are looking swell. Do I have wheat? A little bit of wheat. I a lot of bit of wheat. I forgot I had a bunch of hay bales. Might end up making a cow farm. I don't really... Actually, I want to make a sheep farm as well. Because, you know, every color of the rainbow is nice. But for now, I am working towards... Just uh, getting the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. Oh, wow, well, there's some people talking about. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't send anything to like the. um. I just had some people saying that I should have announced it when I went live. Uh, because they wanted to come chill with me. But that's my bad. You'd keep the sheep as the leader once you make a sheep farm. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. Actually, did I get a lead yet? I don't think I got a lead yet. Oh, well. Uh, we will get this guy. And give him... We'll give him a pen befitting... A overlord of the sheep. Uh, let's get this guy. We'll have to get. A, we'll have to give him a name tag at some point. All right. Uh, bam. Uh, let's get a little bit more. Bam. Bam. We need to. Ah, we don't need a gate. What am I talking about? All right. There we go. Now we need to get him his proper space. We'll put, we'll put them outside. Out in the grass. Where a perfect sheep belongs. We need to find them first. We need to confirm the objective. Sheepy sheep. Glorious sheepy sheep. Are you still up here, my friend? My uh, innocent, fantastical friend? Sheep. Ha! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the smart thing. Sheep! Come here, sheepy sheep. I want to play a little game. I want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. There's two of them. One of them's an imposter. Hey. Hey. I went through all that effort to kill you in a positive way. Right, now I need to ask you guys a question. One of you is holding a piece of rotten flesh. And I need you to just spit it out. I know which one is the imposter. It was both of them. The sheep I knew wouldn't just walk up immediately. He would let the riffraff come in. This guy, this is the real one. He sat there in the background all nonchalant, looking over at me. We knew the true answer all along. You were testing me, Lord Sheep. I understand. Don't worry. Right, now I've got to figure out a way to add Lord Sheep into Waffle's lore. The, the, this is what you've done to me, Kedazin. Now I have to figure out how to put Waffle of uh, Waffle as a some sort of acquaintance of Lord Sheep. I have to make a build for this sheep now. I have to make a throne room for this sheep. All of these things have happened because you had to say something. <laughs> um... So many plans are going through my head right now. Uh, what have you done to me? Alright. Let's go. Lord Sheep. I know, I know. It's not an illustrious throne like you deserve. 
but it's what we can afford for now, so we're going to have to deal with it. You've got plenty of grass, though, and here, here, of course, yes, because you went with us that whole way. Thank you, Lord Sheep. I need to get them a name tag now. Actually, did we end up getting a name tag from anything we visited thus far? That looks like a hard no. Oh, well. Next time we get one, uh, we're going to have to name tag Lord Sheep. Uh, wait. <laughs> yep, we do have a name tag. <laughs> Let's go. Making an anvil. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I am making an anvil purely to name Lord Sheep. Oh, oh, no, we gotta give him a name. What should his name be? Sherbert. Name Sherbert, spelled exactly like that. Sherbert, Lord of the Sheep. Got him. There we go, Sherbert. You are the greatest Lord the Sheep will ever know. You are amazing, Sherbert. What would I do without you? I have to start every stream by feeding Sherbert now. That's just got to be a tradition. I have to make a wheat farm as my first farm now. Uh, so many things have changed. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'm able. I've never really had an issue with caps because I know it's like uh, in some sort of in some tighter, like um, more stricter circles it's like no the caps are supposed to represent yelling at someone it's also slightly hard to read but like for me caps uh, i talk very loud so caps is just always mean i'm excited not whoa but <laughs> not whoa i'm gonna bite off your toes all right uh, uh boof unbreaking wait okay so we need to get sacrifices for our sheep overlord which means we need to get some cows but we'll worry about the cows later what we want to do first is get sustainable resources so we got to figure out what we're doing for the farm it's weird because in minecraft a lot of the goals you have tend to like intertwine I just hit my mic, sorry about that. But a lot of the goals you have tend to intertwine. Like, getting a food source and stuff is something that I definitely need to do. You know, the feed Sherbert. Like, to get cow farm, to get a pig farm, to get chicken farm. Uh, to be able to feed myself, because this wheat supply isn't going to last forever. Um, but also, getting diamond equipment will definitely be able to make the rooms faster because i am not going to be putting my farms out here i'm going to build like a giant underground f warehouse for them because that's just what i like to do <clears throat> so i'm debating right now on if i want to like hyper fixate into getting the gear off and running right now which means the rest of this stream is going to be me diving for that mob spawner and getting it operational or i'm gonna hyper fixate on built like starting my farm area out which means i'm going to be digging out a giant hole and then filling it full of farm stuff what do you think artisan i tend to um offload some decisions onto viewers give them a bit of a say you know when people show up i like to you know make them a part of the process if they want to be you don't have to choose for me if you don't want to but i think it's more fun that way torches get some more wood on me what is a stick away I should probably have the shield in the offhand if I'm not going to have my torches. I'm going to make myself some more bread. We're not going to eat 
that much bread, but that should be good. So let's turn this back into um, hay bales. There we go. Are you still there, Garrison? Was I a pet? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. You were looking in the schedule. Okay, um... What... what, what do you miss the thing if... The, the... Okay, so... Um... <laughs> uh... Oh, th 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 what was I saying? Right. Um, I'm either going to be digging a hole and building a farm, or I'm going to be digging a hole and working on a mob spawner. This stream. And I have asked you what you want to see. Because you were bearing witness to my insanity. Um, and I appreciate that. So I want to add... Like, whenever I can, I like to take it Like when there's actually people here communicating with me. It's fun to add them into the process. Give them some control. Make it fun. <laughs> so what do you think? So right now I'm just running around in circles indecisively. Let's see. Do we want the I, I know inevitably, no matter what I do, I'm going to want to make some cobblestone stuff. So I'm gonna make some not cobblestone stuff, stone stuff specifically. Dig down and make a farm. Okay, okay, cool. You heard it. You heard it here first. Kerazin, our great, gracious viewer, has instructed us that the best course of action is to dig down and make a farm, and all the consequences of that decision are on you forever. If I have good food, it is your fault. All right, we're gonna dig down a little bit. I am a miner and I'm digging a hole. Dig, diggy hole, a hole, dig, dig. That's a, it's a really good song. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, no, we're gonna do the farming farm stuff, which is really important. That's why I was so on the fence about it, because all of them are important. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see, how far down do I want to dig? I don't want to dig too far down. I placed those torches kind of close, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's dig it down a little bit more. Yeah, we'll put it right there. And with this, and we got copper. I don't care about copper. I think this is far enough down that we're not gonna have to deal with the surface. Maybe. Okay, yeah, no, that's uh, not surface dirt. We're good, I think. Is it? No, it's not. Cool, we're good, we're good. I was really worried there for a second that we just dug straight into, like, some weird patch of surface. So what I'm gonna do is I like making these rooms a bit more spacious. So we've got... Uh, do we want our roof to be that tall? We'll probably go with that as our roof and um, we'll fill it in with stone brick later but yeah this will be our uh, we'll, we'll dig the whole way up then actually for now we're not gonna make it like super pretty so we're not gonna worry about digging it to the full height we're just gonna dig um, three blocks up and I'll worry about making it look pretty once I have a diamond pick. Kind of going with a similar thing to what I did in my last um, SMP sort of thing. I want there to be a at least a 3x3 three three path. Uh, not a 3x3, three three, but a 3-wide path in the center. 
then we're gonna have like a space in between which will be right like that which will be this so that'll be like the start of the path no path and then in between area start of the farm so with that as the start of the farm we want a gap between it and the wall and we're gonna want to go wider rather than longer because it's gonna be long no matter what but this will make a like it feel the room feel a little bit more you know spacious so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think water can uh I'm pretty sure water in Minecraft can uh, spread to ten fertile grounds, like f by like five fertile grounds in each direction. So if we make the farm area one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if we make it eleven wide, and this is the gap between it and the wall, that will make enough room for all of these crops to be fertilized, like not fertilized, but um watered properly while still um well taking up the most space possible so that means uh, all of our farms are going to be 11 by 11 so that means one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We'll make it 12 because there's going to be a little gap in between the farms. Um, right now, we're just going to dig out the area for our wheat farm and our sugarcane farm. And we're just going to keep the sugarcane farm 11 by 11 as well. That way... Uh, it just works logistically for everything and i still think i can make a sugarcane work with 11 by 11 because let's see that's uh water down the middle sand on either side and then sand past that which is five in total water down the side of either side of that which make it seven nine 10, 11, so that's, uh, I guess I might have one piece of sand down the middle then and do it that way. And yeah, we'll figure that out when it gets to it. I'm like painting a picture in my head. I should probably, um, I'm also going to keep all the cobblestone I mine because my plan is to line the walls uh, with uh, stone brick because I just like how stone brick looks with like logistical field. Uh, a logistical feel, sorry. Uh, kind of gives like a uh, ruin sort of vibes, like an old Skyrim sort of thing. And I, I really like that in a room. I've actually been really enjoying the stream. I'm probably going to go a bit longer than I thought because usually, like, I keep the. I'm trying to keep these streams a wee bit. Um, shorter because i still want to spend some time in my afternoon editing because i want to edit down my streams into um videos on my main youtube channel which is right now kind of like a secondary to my vods channel <laughs> uh but like i'm actually really enjoying the process of editing i just need to make sure to take the time to actually edit them down because it's well it's it's been a hard learning curve i'm still learning some things but i'm really enjoying the process of learning it yeah um i have like all of my links somewhere on the twitch thing i know twitch is sort of confusing but yeah, i have a youtube where i put up my vods and right now i have three edited down ver like three edited down highlights of my um insane craft vods and that's what i'm working on right now is getting as many of my insane craft vods edited down as possible just getting rid of the slow parts maybe adding in some text and some uh 
like effects every once in a while you know just getting used to the stuff uh it's been a really fun process it's just waffles underscore dd for the one with the edited stuff and then waffles underscore dd space vods for the vods one and the vods one is just you know where i'm storing all my vods um because i want to have something offshoot of where twitch is because i know for a while i only watched youtube i didn't watch twitch but there i had some people that i like that watched on that like stream stuff on twitch so i was really thankful when i was able to actually see their stuff even though i was a youtube guy we'll check it out off the stream really cool really cool i would appreciate it because um yeah I, I would love it if my editing <laughs> doesn't go to waste because it's kind of corny right now, but it still is like, it's a hard learning curve. Mm. Wow, well, this mining is taking about as long as I was expecting it to, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Which is why I decided to not dig out the full ceiling like I planned to later. Because with an iron pick, this process feels incredibly slow. might need to actually grab some dirt from outside which is a weird thing to have to go grab <laughs> uh, i'm also gonna need to make a stone hoe yeah this is all uh, this patch is literally just going to be wheat um and it's all gonna be in the name of the great sheep of sheepentons. Why does this space feel too big for what I'm trying to do? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's the perfect size. It just feels big. Huh. It's interesting. All right, well, we're not going to worry about that. I might end up making an automatic sugarcane farm, um, but that's for later down the line. Right now, I don't care too much. If I make automatic stuff, I'm going to make it closer to where all the other streamers live. Because that way, when they get on, it'll actually, you know, make the automatic farm do automatic things. <laughs> Um, streaming for an hour and seven minutes already. Wow. I'm going fantastic. I've honestly gotten a lot, of, a lot done, I think, for the time I've been streaming. Yes, yes, yes. Because that way, not only do they get to hear a weird noise of a bunch of pistons going off randomly and it freaks them out, but... Also, I get the sugar cane while they're doing stuff. And I like that a lot, because being lazy helps sometimes. <laughs> we, we might need to light up the crops. Because I just realized, like, the slight issue with having the um, crops being this big of a thing. So I might have to, like, dedicate four blocks to just placing torches on top of fence posts or something. We'll, we'll see how it looks when we're all done. For now, we're not going to mine out the rest of this wall. Hey! The good man, Whippy Chip. This is the mole man. Um, Hello there. Hey! And they're in the Discord chat. Hello! Mole. there. How are you doing, comrade? Very good. Very tired. Good day at work and gym. I bring home potatoes. At least three. <laughs> I can feed family for a week. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, yeah, I have one person in my stream right now. Um, Karazin. They have been pretty cool. Um, they sound cool. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Uh, yeah, I've been working hard into the grind. I actually got really lucky. Um, I found a village with a ruined portal inside of it. No way. And then I found a cave that was just the perfect size for a house right next to the village, but it's far enough away that I won't make monsters attack during the night. 
uh, and I went down into the mines and immediately got six diamonds. So I already have an enchantment table made, diamond pickaxe. I'm working on getting a farm set up so I can get a cow farm going. I'm just, I'm just going. <laughs> I have a shield. <laughs> Uh, and stone tools. And though I, I, I'm on when I started my last stream, I just went straight on the grind, and that was like, um, if if I wasn't naming it the beginning of the SMP, I would have named it something to like the kid of the grind, because <laughs> that's all I did is I just hammered into it as quickly as possible, used all the skills Literally I've ever learned. Did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've been, like, my entire body hurts right now. I am so exhausted, uh, but not mentally exhausted, which is an interesting feeling to have. Because usually when I'm exhausted, it's because, like, my I've mental strain. But I started cross-country this year, which is whew, my legs. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're in for a treat. Cross-country is certainly a sport. My friends were a part of it, oh, and man. I have the utmost respect for it. Um, yo, dude, uh, not that I need to, because I'm kind of good right now. Yeah. I do have a bed, so... Oh, yeah, we can, need... we can totally sleep. I'm, I'm right next to my bed, if you, if you're right next to your bed. I have a really cool shader on that makes the night sky look beautiful. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. I just got a, I have my default, uh, shader on, because... I don't know. I didn't really have enough time to putz around with that. Yeah, uh, I I basically just looked up Minecraft shaders and I kept going along and I saw one that was like kind of like um, it added realism without like distorting the Minecraft feel. And it was to the point where actually Karazin didn't notice that there was a shader on until I mentioned it. <laughs> you know, that's really cool because... Um... I feel like when you have a game that's set around a specific art style, it is very hard to, like, improve on that. And I know they tried to achieve that with, like, the nature skin pack. Yeah. But even then, it felt a little off-putting. Yeah. Like, so what th what this shader mainly did is it just, um, it adds shadows. Um, like, it adds a really beautiful starry sky with, like, some shooting stars. Um, a cloudy sky um, it has a lot of like things you can change about it to make sure that you know it doesn't destroy everything you love uh, <laughs> like your PC being able to exist um, but yeah it's also got a random planet that's just off in the distance and that st sort of fills me with fear um, I'm debating on making that a part of Waffles lore <laughs> you know what's funny is that you know if I'm not sure how the others would feel, but, you know, this sounds interesting. Uh, when you get a chance, like, maybe after your stream, please feel free to link me those or give yeah. me the names, because I would totally love to experience that. Yeah, totally. Like, it, it's a it's a really nice shader. You had me at Pretty Night Sky, by the way, <laughs> in case you were trying to sell it. Oh, yeah, no, um, Pretty Night Sky, like, oh, honestly, it's... Oh my god, when I first looked at it, I spent, like, a good portion of the stream. I, I, was, I was actually really lucky because I happened to be stuck riding boat from place to place. And it was a Ouch. really wide ocean, so I just spent the entire time staring up at the sky being like, <laughs> uh, It was great. Hello, pigeon. Hello. Hey, there's another person. I actually Hi. don't think we formally met. No, we have not. Hello, I am the great and mighty Quaffles. Nice to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, wait, I need to check something on Discord. I can't, I don't know if my keyboard and mouse are coming through or not. Do you hear keyboard and mouse noises? Um, I'm going to be on. Well, actually, uh, make keyboard and mouse noises. Um, keyboard and mouse noises. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. Yes, I can. Here, let me, uh, just change up a quick thing real quick. Um. You know, it's funny you bring it up. I told the others this, not Pigeon, because no offense, Pigeon. Yeah. We haven't talked. We haven't talked yet. It just worked out like that. So I'm going to tell you now. No, we too. haven't talked yet. Um, funny story. So I was like really in the gaming mood when I was going to put yeah. this uh, SMP together with the others, and I was like, you know what? 
I've had the same keyboard for like 18 years. There are crumbs that are probably <laughs> never coming out of this thing. And I was looking up a new keyboard. They had a typewriter keyboard that had LED lights on it. It was the coolest thing ever. And I was going to get it until oh. I saw it made the keyboard clicky clack noises. Honestly, <laughs> I don't think I know. <laughs> Um, is it is it better now? By the way, I I think I changed uh, something that should have made it better. Uh, I'm I'm making keyboard noises right now. I I don't hear anything. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I I thought that that setting would do something, and it did. <laughs> uh, Karazin just went. Yo, it's another one. We got another person in here. The I love I love Karazin's enthusiasm. Oh yeah. No, all, all caps all the way. They actually apologize for the fact that they're using all caps and I had to tell them, no, I just consider caps excitement every time. So you be excited, my friend. <laughs> hey, uh, where are you? So you know how, do you know where uh, Jay's positioned? I don't, I haven't really checked into the chords stuff. Uh, so I, uh, they, I think they were close to spawn though, right? Didn't they make like that cool looking house right by spawn? Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm literally right below. If you look down, you'll see my uh, dock and a fire pit I placed. I also, since I claimed that area no one else has really had, I called it Cavity Bay. <laughs> nice. It, it's set up really weird. Like, there's just a bunch of random bricks in a circle. It looks like a cavity, and it makes like a waterfall-esque into another thing. I have no nice. idea if a boat can actually travel up it. Okay, okay. That that actually sounds really cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, the first thing I did was just set off on an adventure until I found something that I'm like, this is the place where I'm going to start. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just going for the functional right now, trying to get everything I can set up uh, just to, well, make it so I no longer have to worry about anything and can just start making some cool builds and stuff. It, yeah, um, it's kind of where I'm at too. I'm just trying to go. I'm trying to get to iron, and then I'll yeah. focus on getting like you know an enchantment table and all that. Yeah. Which is why I'm super glad I found that mob spawner. It's kind of far out, uh, like of the way, especially for like from spawn. But it's a skeleton spawner, so infinite bones and arrows. Yo, yeah, I might be trading with you a lot, <laughs> but knowing you, I'll probably be. Yeah, yeah, I'll pro I, I, I'm not really like a big hoarding type. Like, if you need something, come ask for it. <laughs> as long as I have it, I shall provide. You and know, uh, it actually fits uh, the character because Waffles is a communist. But <laughs> wait, you mean to tell me your benevolent breakfast? person is a dictator uh, <laughs> uh, sorry i'm a, wait am i like but that's not tos is it? Uh, no no it's not tos i'm saying um and kind of like being like no i don't know what you're talking about sort of um <laughs> uh, like uh, i confirm or deny nothing i have a lot i have a good amount of lore planned for the great and mighty waffles <laughs> Including the I, fact that uh, I just actually added, I'm adding a whole different area of lore, because now I have to um, have an overlord named Sherbert, the sheep. Uh, and yeah, that's that's a thing that happened in this stream. So now is it Sh Sherbert or Sherbet? Uh, Sherbert. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Sherbert like that one. I think it's a flavor of ice cream. I want to say it's a flavor of ice cream. Um, it's actually pronounced sherbet, but yeah, it's, oh, it's a weird. Bet. It's actually it's like a hard fruity ice cream. I love yeah. orange sherbet. Hey, pigeon, you're here. Yeah. Wow, look at them. They've joined the game. It's crazy. I will bake you a cake someday when I get the sugar. Okay, I need like a hundred and four. Let's see. Why did okay 121? I need about 121 pieces of dirt for my wheat farm. Woo! Man. I am totally using Jay's right now, but I'm literally planting it. So you know, I'm I'm making a 11 by 11 uh, wheat farm in the underground. I'm gonna do the same thing with a sugar cane farm. Woo! Actually, my um, sugar cane farm is growing up splendidly outside. Woo! I just took his. 
I, I basically planted all his seeds in the space, but I have leftovers. Do you think I should give him the leftover seeds? No, actually, you know what? I'm going to take it for myself. Yeah, no. no uh, you know uh, Compromise. I'll give him half. <laughs> yeah, in, in case he wants to expand, give him half, but I don't, I don't think he'll complain too much about you taking like some of the seeds to start off your own farm. <laughs> Exactly. Mm. Plus, I did all the work and I basically drew it out for him. So yeah, I don't. He, I doubt he'll be mad. He's a lot like you. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and heck, by the t by the time they get back, um, the wheat farm's probably going to be completely grown, <laughs> if if not harvested a couple times by other people. So it's like it's yeah. Were you guys planning on getting character for this stream or not? Nah? Um, I, I've kind of, I fell into character a couple times because as soon as I hit that, the accent that I have for them, I just kind of stay in the waffle persona. <laughs> the waffle persona. Oh, yes. If your the... voice doesn't sound like maple syrup, I'm pressing charges. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am Russian waffle. The greatest waffle this world has ever seen, comrade. Fantastic. <laughs> and my accent is like... I try, but it's not best accent, you know. Uh, Waffle Man. Oh, yes. Um, if you're interested, I have tips. Oh, yes. Uh, according, because my one history teacher from high school, he was insane with accents. He could do British, Russian, German, all of them. And I asked him, I'm like, hey, uh, Mr. Brown, I'm just gonna call him Mr. Brown. Um, Mr. How did Brown. you do it? And he goes, he goes, oh well, Chip. Um, I actually watched nature doc documentaries like with those, like with Russian speakers huh. to get better at it. I'm like, huh? Yeah, no, that 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 makes sense. Like, honestly, just find like, yeah, finding a like relatively consistent person who speaks in like an accent. It, it really does like help and act actually also understanding why they speak a certain way because sometimes it's like because of how they like pronounce certain words or stuff like that like i've learned a lot about that with learning spanish um how much their accent is affected by how they speak because i naturally fell into the accent accent of like the a accident the, i yeah i accidentally fill fell into the accent while just practicing spanish and it's because it's how like it's pronounced the accent suits the character to be honest yeah the the concept for waffles slowly grew and eventually i was like you know what they are going to be russian and then it just yes was maintained you don't you don't think it's you don't think it's a disappointment that i brought back the mole do you no not at all the reason why i changed is because um i rebranded i'm no longer drake destructo i'm waffles uh so i changed my skin and everything and old dave uh, was see. the void which You're was sellout <laughs> sellout no i renamed myself the waffles because that's my nickname in high school <laughs> you know what's hilarious that that's actually where i got chip from well not chip but uh whip chip huh yeah that, did that's I tell you that story I, I don't think you did um, an old friend of mine uh, from grade school. I don't know what we were just waiting on the bleachers for class, and he was really hyper. And you know, you know how we get fake angry at each other and was yeah. shouting. Well, he did that, and he goes whippy chip. <laughs> He's like, oh look, there goes whippy chippy. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. It, some things like that will just click, and you just never let them go. And it's just fun. Exactly. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I needed some more dirt, and I need to get some water into this area. What else do I What's need? That? I need seeds. Water. water. I need water. <laughs> oh, Holy yes. crap, that actually looks really cool. Okay, okay, what else do I need to do? And we're, we'll make an infinite water source right here, because that's like the thing I'm focusing on right now. Water. water. I sure hope it does. <laughs> Hello, spider. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. A skeleton tried to shoot me and shot a zombie that was sneaking up on me, and now they're fighting to the death. <laughs> you idiot! Yeah, I almost had him! I was this close! <laughs> 
<laughs> pretty much yeah i actually i look forward to it because once like we actually do a stream where we're gonna be in character anytime that happens i'm just gonna have waffles just sit there right next to him and be like oh yes perfect comrade i shall destroy the victor make it a battle worth witnessing for me the great and mighty waffle anyway uh, <laughs> I'm really excited for some character streams because I, 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 I can tell. Like I just yeah, I, I love the concept that I've created for this character. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm actually yeah. kind of up, I'm not upset, but I'm also I'm annoyed at myself because you know me. Yeah. I'll throw a stone in a direction and say this will be my temp home, and then I make it my perma home, <laughs> and that's exactly what happened with this. I was like, I'll just make a temporary nope i'm already making it a permanent home. you know uh th this place that i have um what i what i plan on doing is i'm thinking like i'm gonna replace all the walls with stone brick because i think you've seen some of my builds that tends to be like what i do at first is i build an underground home and then the walls are stone brick i kind of make it skyrim dungeon-esque uh <laughs> And then after that, I'm going to make like a top area. I'm going to replace a lot of the mountain that's around me and turn it into a giant toaster. And th that's the goal, is I want to turn my home into a giant toaster. I mean, when in Rome, I guess. <laughs> uh, up to anything, pigeon? What? <laughs> No, you're good, homie. I was just, I was just wondering yeah. if you were up in his end. Uh, like anything, anything devious that we should be warned. Ah, uh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just building. Building what a super weapon? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. I like. Yakin ah. Uh. I like you. <laughs> you gotta keep him guessing. Never let him know your next move. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Um. Okay, so I haven't worked out the details, but I think I know how I'm interacting with Jay's character. Oh, okay, okay. So you know how he's literally, I think it's farm guy or farm boy? Yeah, little farm boy, yeah. Well, I'm a mole. Oh, no! <laughs> he's a <laughs> farmer on a farm. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You've got to be the little mole guy that just <laughs> eats his crops from underneath. That's what you have to do, too. You have to dig, like, a system of tunnels underneath his farm and then just punch out one of, like, the one of the tilled pieces of dirt while he's, like, farming and then replace it with dirt and walk away. <laughs> yeah, I was planning on doing that. Oh, my um, God. Of course, I, I want to cue him in, though, so I'm not yeah. him. Yeah, so it's more of a, like, you know, a fun little bit thing for the stream rather than you just beating him up and laughing about it. Yeah, I get you. Also, I thought about uh, pulling a book from your Void character. And, yeah. But instead of doing it all at once, I'm going to I'm gonna have them... I don't know how to say this without... I'm going to have two animals make a new animal and then steal it underground. <laughs> You're gonna breed two animals and then steal the infant animal? No, the parent. Oh, the parent animal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make it a slight inconvenience. Okay. I actually, um, thanks to what's happened in this stream, I now am going to have to make one of my more recent projects be a um, throne for the mighty Sherbert. Mighty Sherbert. Are we gonna ever meet the Sherbert? Oh, uh, yeah, no, like, I plan on making, like, it all be a whole thing. Like, I'm gonna make a throne for Sherbert, and they will, like, live there with, like, their perfect supply of grass. Like, I'll put gold to adorn the throne. Once I get enough diamonds off, like, a diamond jewel at the top. Uh, like, I'm gonna make this whole thing, and then, like, invite people to come bow to Sherbert or something like that. Something corny like that. <laughs> uh, I wonder but, how, how our characters would interact... I don't know. Uh, I, I I like from your like from the past interactions like other streams. I feel like it'll like. I feel like Waffle will enjoy the Mole Man, especially if you end up being like um. Yeah, because w Waffle's plan is to um like m my glorious mission is to spread my buttery goodness to the farthest reaches of this world I find myself in. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, yes. You're gonna cover the world in pancake batter. Yes. There's no noble or gold, my friend. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> This is why this is why I love the concept so much. <laughs> mm. Like I, you, I, you're literally like the PG G villain <laughs> of a cartoon series, and I I don't mean as an insult. That's actually really like funny. actually my my plan for waffles is to make them try and do vi like try and do villainy as best as they can, but what they do are at worst minor inconveniences and at best they're helpful. And that's like the plan. Cause he's gonna like run up and be like, I have potato and you shall all eat. And he'll like throw like potatoes to everybody who needs them. Kind of like, haha, nobody will have any other food than potato for I give them the potato. We were just like, uh, thanks. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, th thanks for the potato, I guess. <laughs> I mean, thanks, comrade syrup. <laughs> yeah, uh, st stuff like that. Like, of course, there are going to be moments where he actually accomplishes a devious deed, but yeah. I, I think it's going to be fun. I hope so, too. And I really wanted to jump on the wagon because I've all, for some reason, I make the mistake. In the past, I don't know why, but it would just happen where I'd be like, oh, you know what? This is going to last a while, and I don't do anything until, like, the end of the month, and then I realize everyone's burnt out, and they were waiting for me. <laughs> I yeah, don't no, want that to happen again, so I'm trying to be as active as possible. You no, know, I am refusing to let myself get burnt out. Um, I've been, like, I actually set a schedule on my Twitch, like, I am going to stream every day. And because I'm doing a lot of, like, school stuff, it's, like, about an hour after school that I'm going to be doing. And sometimes I might have to take a break. Uh, but, like, weekends, I've been doing some streams I really enjoy. I've been making sure to do Insane Craft because it's just a really fun mod. Um, I'm not familiar with that one, actually. Um, it's, like, it's kind of... Oh, I, I guess the easiest way I can explain it is it's, like, a less computer intensive but still better i think like in terms of balancing wise a version of crazy craft not made by the same people but it's a lot more balanced um it was made like i first saw it in this like group of youtubers sunday um jerome jerome asf uh like i think maybe 2d was in there something like that like those um youtubers they played it and i saw it on cursed forge i'm like you know what i really like that mod pack so i'm gonna try it out and it's just been really fun it was kind of a learning curve for a while but um i got there And if you ever end up wanting to play modded Minecraft, I wholeheartedly recommend using Curse Forge because there's a lot of really cool mod packs in there. Now, if I go in there and they're lame, I'm going <laughs> to have to tickle you. You know, they're really cool. Like RL Craft, you can run it through there. Um, there's like a couple of different pixel pixel mon, uh, mod packs. Like it, it's got some good stuff in there. Um, I the first thing that I picked up was like a wizard mod, like which was basically just focused on magic. And it was actually how I delved pretty far into the blood magic mod, a little bit of astral sorcery, and this um, Electro Bob's wizardry. And Electro Bob's wizardry is really cool. I'm gonna have to take your word on it, man. I I yeah. don't have a freaking idea. Uh, like. Uh, yeah, El Electro Bob's Wizardry, like, it takes a little bit of time to get into, but uh, just a brief description, like, you make a magic wand sort of thing, and you find books, like, out in the wild, and what you can do is once you get, like, a table to apply the, like, the, the books onto a staff, you can try and use the spell and try and learn the spells by, like, using them with the book, and once you've learned them, like, any book you find that's the same spell, like, you'll already have it revealed and stuff, but there's really cool spells, like, anything from summoning a zombie as a companion, um, that'll, like, protect you, to, um, like, conjuring a pickaxe in your hand, um, shooting a fireball at people, making, like, a fire tornado, stuff like that. 
I actually found this really cool one that's just called Dragon Fireball, and it's literally like the Dragon Fireball that the Ender Dragon launches. And I was like, I, I, I thought that was super cool when I first got that. That's pretty neato. Yeah. I like to throw, I like to throw a Dragon Ball. <laughs> Especially at Cordeval. All right, so I think I'm going to now work on expanding into the sugarcane farm. But first, I'm gonna harvest my sugarcane. Woo! I also need sand. Actually, you could just use dirt for sugar sugarcane too. And there's more dirt nearby. I'm gonna correct. go with the dirt. I, I guess the whole uh, it grows four on sand was a myth. Yeah, and. Unfortunately. You know, I'm just, I'm so happy with how this, um, like, thing had been going. Because I was so worried about, um, not being able to, like, keep up with everybody else. Because, like, immediately, as soon as the realm was up, I saw a bunch of things of people being like, Oh, yeah, I've been doing a bunch of fishing, all this stuff. Like, getting this stuff, killing these drowned, all this stuff. And I'm like... <laughs> even been able to get on yet <laughs> ah. dude i'm so i i'm honestly the, the one that's most behind as far as i'm aware mm. like i probably shouldn't be building snow stone walls i should probably be focusing on getting diamonds but here we are <laughs> uh, you know i got all the diamonds i'll need i need to uh right now like i'm working on getting the farm set up because i need books for um the enchantment table and so i want cows which means i need a su steady supply of wheat um and i want sugar cane so i can well get the paper and now that i have that mob farm i'm probably gonna make a quick and easy path through the underground over to that uh there's not really gonna be a quick and easy one that's gonna be a lengthy path until i get a um minecart track going uh, but still, like, once I'm there, I can grind for a lot of XP on there. <sighs> Which will be great. And I'm, I'm also right next to a village, so I'm gonna work really hard at getting a mending villager right off the get-go. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll have good RNG and just randomly do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, like, the, the good thing with it is all I have to do is just break, um, the, uh, just break their, uh, lectern and replace it over and over again until they give me the right trades. And once yep, they have that, that is, mending book, that then that's it. Task. Yep. Why are, why are there so many creepers on my island? Oh, I forgot to, uh, right. I forgot to give right. Sherbert, that's um... Good a better exit to his little pen here. Nope, Sherbert, you cannot leave. I'm sorry, Sherbert, but you are too important to the community to leave. The commune. Um, yes, will. yes, the commune needs you, Sherbert. Uh, you cannot abandon us. I almost forgot. I didn't give you your weed today. I'll be right back, Sherbert. Don't you worry. We'll be right back. God, give him those fixings of the wheat. Sherbert needs his wheat. <laughs> uh, he's a very hungry, growing leader. Hmm. Gosh, it, ha it has to be a thing now. Waffles um, will never eat um, mutton, will never ki and will never kill a sheep. It'll be like uh, kind of similar to over like uh, I think the thing I'm gonna go for is it'll be kind of similar to like over in India how um, cows are sacred. Like I'll just make it so that's like a part of waffles like traditional thing where just sheep are a sacred animal to waffles. And that, uh, but in this case, it's less of like for a spiritual reason and more of be just because uh, the emperor, like the lord of um, the waffles, is Lord Sherbert. I mean, definitely could. I mean, it sounds like your intention isn't to be offensive, so I, I don't see a reason for it to be. So I think you're good. Not that you were asking for it. 
How would that be? Oh, I, I guess I could kind of see how that could possibly it, offend. It, I hope it doesn't. It could, but you're, I mean, you're already stating from the get-go, like, you're not doing it to mock them. You're just saying it as a comparison, so... I feel like if anything, that'd be an omen of respect, but... Yeah, like, I mean, I, like, I don't particularly, like, when it comes to that sort of thing, it's like, I don't believe the same thing, but I mean, I can respect it, like, just, like, they don't have burgers over there, because they, like, consider the cow a sacred animal, and, well, that's respectable, I mean, like, there's a lot of religious, like, traditions and understandings and beliefs that I don't, like, fully understand, but that doesn't mean that you can't have respect for them. Uh, exactly. I was just talking about that with my manager at work today. Tolerance, we're taught. Yeah. Um, we were talking about the LGB community, and I was explaining mm -hmm. how my significant other is non-binary, and I wanted to, you know, I'm like, hey, uh, so if you hear me refer to them as my significant other, this is why, and I explained, and he understood, and his attitude was like, well, I mean... I think everyone needs to go back to the square root of, or go back to kindergarten and remember the first golden rule we, rule we were taught. Yeah. Treat one another like you want to be treated. Like it shouldn't. It, yeah, it's exactly. Not. Like it, it should just be as simple as that. Cause like, like, don't hate me, internet, but like I've never purely understood the LGBT community. Oh my God. I just messed it up. Now I feel like a jackass. But, Wait um, until fucking go. Crucible. The LGBTQ community, correct? Right? Yes? Cool. Q plus. Okay. Not close. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, plus. yeah, that makes sense. Because, yeah, they've... Yeah, cool. But, like, I've never purely, like, understood it. But at the same time, I mean, like... They're just trying to, you know, they're going through the human experience and they're like, I just because I don't understand it doesn't mean like that devaluates like their life. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, I think it's cool. Like I have a bunch of friends who go along like all the different lines, like the different genders and whatnot. And I feel like there's no reason to have any issue with that. Because, like, what's the worst case? You don't understand it? Cool. You can just say, oh, okay. Like, that's it that's the simple thing you don't understand it maybe even ask questions if they're okay with it like i feel like i feel like we've hit that point in the society that you know with edu with technology furthering education at a faster rate and communicating yeah. there's no excuse to hit a point where if you don't understand yeah. something your first response is, is to, to rock yeah, at it exactly burn it at the stake like i feel like we should be past that but nope here we are yeah the, Pigeon, no. i hope this is not making you uncomfortable oh yeah it's not i'm just i'm just listening along <laughs> okay the yeah, that nice actually really like just listening to people talk you know yeah no i totally get that i've had moments where i just yeah i just zone out you know yeah exactly you zone out you hear the important bits and you just get to hear like the a cool conversation i totally get you i think <laughs> uh but yeah no um i i i think that the like we are to a point where like education and understanding of the world is right there all you need to do is look for it and there's a lot of people who don't and there's a lot of things behind why they don't and it's really unfortunate that people that some people still don't because it's there you can just go out and get it as long as you have a phone you can just spend a few hours of your day learning something new easy not even not even man like, like just a few have, minutes like they have even public libraries with computers that has free access yeah exactly like yeah you don't even need a phone you can just go to a library like as, as long as you have been given the bare minimum of education like here in uh like in america for instance like um where like at, at the very least by the time you're an adult you should hopefully know how to read unless the education system has very hard failed you um in some regard but like as long as you know how to read the information is forthright and heck if you were to tell anybody that you couldn't read i think a good amount of people would be like oh my god okay we need to fix that <laughs> rather than like any other reaction like i know if someone told me honestly that they couldn't read i would make it my goal to teach them 
I, I, I'm not going to go into details other than I've, let's just say I've worked near someone that couldn't read. Wow. And it was because of uh, their age and the okay. job requirements at the time didn't require that high level of education. Okay. Um. Wow. Honestly, that they, does. It did, wow. That kind of surprises me. I thought, but it, yeah. It surprised it, me too. Wow. But we've hit some deep topics very quickly. I. <laughs> it's I, fun. I, I didn't mean to. I just, I'm literally just making. Well, breaks. yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're just making conversation. But like, I think it was. I think. I think I was the person who veered it off into like the LGBTQ community, which shouldn't be a like oh, no, big. That was me. Oh, never mind then. But yeah, no. Um, it really bugs me that that's a controversial topic. People wanting to be who they are is a controversial topic. What does the world become? But. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it shouldn't be a controversial topic. Yeah, it, it really shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, you know, I I would really love if someone could explain this one to me. Mm -hmm. Is someone that has experienced hatred from that group? Because mm -hmm. I want to know the rationale of why they feel threatened. Because every single person that was against the LGBT community and trans rights act like they're being personally attacked and questioned it's because and they th it's because uh so i have a sort of funny answer and a um like actual answer that like is seeming more reasonable at least from my experience especially in the community i am because i have a lot of people around me who don't support the like that movement very much at all um, which is an interesting community to be around, if I'm to be honest. But uh, uh, there's a lot of there's a way to say it. Yeah, there there's a lot of people um, who have been like through the media that they consume. They've been given a bunch of fear about like they're coming for your kids. That mentality has been drained, like just smacked into them. And that's a good portion of it is the fact that they have that fear for their children, that they are like that there's some sort of malicious intent behind the LGBTQ, which I don't think there is. And uh, like there isn't I, like d j not even I don't think they there isn't. I <laughs> They're just people trying to, you know, be people. But, um, like, the funny answer that, like, I heard, like, it, it was from a comedian. Um, God, what is his name? Uh, Steve Hofstetter, I think. Um, okay. He, uh, but anyway, what he said is that um, they're, like, uh, what a lot of them will say is, like, you can have, like, gay thoughts and stuff without being gay. Like, it's a choice, whatever. People who were committed to thinking that it's a choice, um... Like, maybe they think it's a choice because they are actually gay or something of the variety because they were, like, told to, like, keep it back down. It's like, you yeah, know, I have those thoughts all the time, but I beat them down. I made the choice, you know? Uh -huh. So maybe all of the oh, people who are anti that movement are secretly actually a part of it and they've just beaten it out of themselves, which would be a sad reality. And I hope it isn't true, but it's kind of a funny thought. Uh, oh, I mean... Okay, and th this is not me making a joke. I'm being 100% serious. Yeah. Wasn't there a whole stigma, too, that, like, back in, like, the 80s and 90s, and even, like, today, a lot of the people that were heavy, like, oh, you're, you're a homosexual. Yeah. Weren't they actually a closeted homosexual? Oh, yeah, no, a, a, like, a that... good amount of actual, like, you know, bullies who would bully people for like being gay or being lesbian or whatever they tended to actually be something close because a lot of the times people who bully and belittle tend to have something that they don't like about themselves because of one reason or another and they lash that out on other people so, oh, I, oh man what's the word for that I'm, I'm drawing a blank i'm sorry it's almost midnight um it's not transposition it's not transpose it's um it's not reflect it's where you cast your own thoughts 
and like your hatred onto something else. Gosh, I can't think of the word either. Like I actually, it, it's yeah, no, I've ugh. brain. Wow, yeah. I've been streaming for almost two hours now. It's crazy. Are you oh, wow. um planning to go to sleep soon, bud? Um, for me, it's nine, so I'm pro I'm probably gonna end it at the two hour mark. Oh, when when will that be? Uh, like 10 minutes or so somewhere you know close that's, that's good because i need to i don't want to but i, I need to go to bed because i don't want to screw up my sleep schedule even more you know uh i i'm pretty sure like it's um about nine like it's gonna be about like nine ten for me when like i end the stream in that regard i actually i'm kind of doing a little bit because i've been trying to um edit down my streams um, I usually give myself time in the afternoon to like work on those and that's what I'm currently cutting into by streaming <laughs> but I'm really enjoying the streams so I don't want to stop and that's yeah, kind of where I'm at right now I always I always like I always just like talking to you man because you always have a lot of like input like deep yeah. input yeah, the, well, I've I've spent a lot of time just learning about random topics. It, it I I think I know. I, I've tried. <laughs> There's a lot of cool things out in the world, and I like exploring it and learning more about it in any little way I can. I actually have a thought for both of you, uh, you as in Drake and Pigeon, and I want to get your opinion about this. Yeah. All right. So. The one thing that really drives me nuts is, like, you go to someone else to ask ask them for their opinion or their insight. Like, you're generally trying to have a conversation, and you're like, oh, do you know about this? Or, like, what is that? And instead of, like, taking the time to, like, explain or have a conversation about it, they just spit out, just Google it. <laughs> I've definitely had that interaction with some people, um, but it is like a mentality that does exist now because like the internet is very like prominent and like, I mean, it is pretty easy just to, you know, pull out your phone and Google it, but that takes out a lot of like, the, you know, the human experience of learning, being able to learn through other people. Like I've definitely spent some time learning stuff through Google, but like, at, usually it's like finding articles and whatnot it's it's just a lot worse of a process in my opinion but that's coming from an extrovert like i love talking with people and a good part of my learning comes from the conversation and the understanding interesting um, yeah i like usually like taking just a brief moment like i can once i understand something i'll just go and go and go and then i'll hit a roadblock and i'll sit there i'll try and get around it any way i can figure out and i'm like all right i need to talk to somebody about this and usually they don't even have to say a word it's just the fact that someone is listening to me ramble off and eventually i find the answer just by rattling off <laughs> you know, uh before i go to if pigeon wants to put their input i was gonna just quickly say I, I believe that's actually a method that programmers use. They call it uh, the duck. Duck programming or something. Duck coding. Yeah. They have a little... No, I'm serious. This is a real thing. Um, Actually, fun fact. The university... At my university, we were lucky enough that the, the guy in charge of Steamroller Studios, which is famous for making the cutscenes to Fortnite... Oh. actually came over and was uh told us that he bought like a crap ton of rubber ducks for that reason for his programmers huh wait so wait D did the programmers talk to a rubber duck okay i'm confused about the concept i'm intrigued by the concept but i'm confused about the concept okay so what they do is they pull the rubber duck aside 
and yeah. basically it, it's it's almost for them it's almost like practicing like a lecture or something because what they're doing is like okay uh mr no i'm not a programmer so i can't give specifics so just just hang in there with me so i pull in and like okay uh mr quack um what i did is i reskinned this texture i went in and i checked the uv rays and then i did this oh crap i just realized i skipped a step Thank you, Mr. Quack. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, talking to anything and, like, basically going through everything you did. And then your mind will, like, refresh and be like, oh, I didn't get to that one part. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, heck, I've done that to myself because um, I actually learned for a while that it was actually good for me to process things by talking out loud. Uh, and it makes me look crazy sometimes. Like, I've been in a school scenario where, like, I had to, for instance, uh, memorize a speech. And uh, it, it was like a quick thing. Like, we were making a poster. We didn't really need to memorize it. But I just always like actually having the stuff memorized because we were supposed to, like, look behind us and look at the poster we made. I just don't like doing that. So I spent, like, five minutes in the corner just saying what I was going to say in the way I was going to say it. And I had some weird looks, and then, I mean, I did it, and it, I did perfectly. I actually got compliments about how, like, effectively I was able to do it. It was just because I went through the stuff that I did um, fairly quickly. Like, this is what I wrote down on the poster sort of way. You know, I actually I actually have a funny story to tell you about that, but, um, Pigeon, I was wondering if you had, like, anything you wanted to add about the whole... Uh, just google it uh part of what we were talking about <laughs> really i'm just i'm not really focused right now i'm just focused on my cut right now fair enough you don't you don't have to worry about it man i was just i don't <laughs> yeah ju just like m make making sure that like if you if you do want to input that we're not just you know making word a word vomit wall for you <laughs> Uh. Sorry about that, Pigeon. Uh, you, anyway, know, yeah. you, you know how I used to do clan stuff, right? Yeah. Like, I used to run clans in Halo. Yeah. Me talking to you guys all the time, and beforehand too, to the people that you never met, actually made, actually helped a lot with my public speaking and presentations to the point where I almost... I didn't really need to practice them. All I just need to do was go over the information to make sure it was accurate. Oh, yeah, no, I've actually gotten really good at public speaking and, like, talking with people. Um, I actually, like, I I've known it for a while because, like, I'm pretty good with people. But I finally, like, really understood, like, how good I was with public speaking. Um, just recently, uh, I was working with the ASB for, like, a freshman first day. And it's, like, the second year they're doing it, apparently. Where basically it's, like, uh, a group of volunteer people help out. Just a group of freshmen. Get them to where their classes are. Um, show them the ropes. Like, there's teachers who tell them what it's all about. We have a bunch of snacks for them. Some cool, like, events and stuff stuff some prizes at the end like just stuff to get them integrated into the high school because it's a big step and like it feels overwhelming at first so giving them that first day to kind of dive into it but um i was one of like the people like who was managing a group of like students so we like our job was to get to know them and make them feel welcomed and it didn't take me very long to get to know all their names and like i still like say hi to them but i I call myself Waffles in my high school. I introduce myself as Waffles because it's easy to remember and it kind of like it, it makes me seem a little bit more chill, I think. Like I'm very relaxed as a person and it puts that out there for them. But I still have people in the hallways who it's like, yeah, I recognize them as one of the freshmen I was talking with. And they'll still be like, Waffles! And like invite me over to hang out with them and say hi and stuff. It's it's just so cool. But wow, like, I've... I really wish my high school was like that. There was. <laughs> <laughs> we had asshole. I had a bunch of asshole jocks. They're like, yo, bruh. Oh yeah, no, this I, guy. I, I actually, um, because I recently got into cross country and I'm also in like the zero hour weights. Um, most of the football players are in the zero hour weights class. Hold and on. they Oh, yep. Yeah. I was I was busy trying to redecorate, and there was like this really dark <laughs> passageway I unlocked. A skeleton jumped down and tried to gank me. Oh it gosh. Failed. It got me to half health, though. Sheesh. But yeah, um, 
I like now that I'm doing like a zero hour weights class and getting into cross country uh, when I was in the zero hour weights like a lot of the football players saw how hard I will work because when I get in like a weight room my me mentality is I am here to improve myself there is like I am not going to stop I'm just gonna work until I drop and make sure I don't break anything and that's I think it that was an Eminem song yeah I think so it, I, I know it is I was just being a smart alley oh okay so. <laughs> that's actually one. Oh, here's an irony for you i you know how my lung collapsed in 2014 uh no i did not really huh but oh no <laughs> um yeah one of those songs i used to run to was till i collapsed by eminem and <laughs> yeah i basically ran myself into my lung collapsing oh gosh um <laughs> I still don't quite fully understand what happened, and the doctors told me basically, "Ah, uh, yeah, you see, you are very thin and very tall." Drugs. <laughs> and then at my graduation, literally there's three other people that, um, by graduation had their lung collapse too. One of them actually had their brother grab their diploma for them during the ceremony. Oh. Actually, I want to take a quick little moment. Um, Karen, I've been looking over and making sure, like, I'm looking over the chat and seeing what you're saying. Um, thank you for, like, I haven't really been saying anything, but I've been looking over and being like, oh, yeah, Karen's is still here talking. Like, he's been saying, that's so cool. Put, like, a little picture of a cat. Uh, like, it. <laughs> they've been staying up with uh, us, like, talking with us, and I just wanted to take a little moment to appreciate them being here and being a be an awesome person but I do too. um thank you <laughs> yeah same I, I would pour you i would pour you a glass of uh subtly sweet pure leaf tea not sponsored if uh, <laughs> you were here oh yes but um yeah w like what i was getting into though is um the jocks like uh, I get along with them pretty well to the point where like when I'm going into cross country like most of the football players are getting dressed and stuff I'll like walk through and like get changed they'll be like yeah that's waffles hey, I'll get some cheers from the football crowd I'm friends with a lot of people like most of the school knows me and most of them will just shout out waffles when they see me I think I'm very fortunate with the like friend groups I have made um, it's just, it's just really cool. I don't know why I ran up here and walked up to my enchantment table. I'm living a very good, um, teenage life, and a lot of it was just the power of sheer motivation. Because, like, two years ago, I was not here. I was in a much worse place. <laughs> I can kind of vouch for that. I wasn't fully there, but I've heard stories, and I'm glad you're above it? Is that appropriate to say? I, I think it's more of past it. <laughs> I, I, like, for specific verbiage-wise, I think that's the best way I like to consider it, is I've gotten past it. But, yeah, though, I, like, I'm having a dandy time now. I'm enjoying life far more than I used to think I could. Which is just... It, it's great. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I needed to make another pickaxe because I broke my old one. I've been using a bunch of iron picks and just draining all of my iron reserves because I just don't want to deal with the process of mining it all with stone. And on the bright side, I have, with, like, building this farm, I have plenty of cobblestone to turn into stone. <laughs> Which I can then use for my stone bricks, so I'm gonna have plenty of walls ready. <laughs> I don't like the ominous hinting, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It doesn't sound very, uh, friendly. Matter of fact, it sounds unfriendly. <laughs> oh, yes, building the wall, you know, you know, it's fine, it's fine. No, can't see. Oh, gee. <laughs> there we go. Took it in a whole different direction for you, huh? <laughs> no, not that. Literally, I'm just sitting here, you know, chilling, reviving, or talking. Next thing you know, Minecraft piano. Ding! And I'm like, oh, no. 
Who is the composer of Minecraft again? It wasn't like E13, was it? I don't know. I've been playing um, so, lo-fi hip hop. Um, it's just from it's called oh, it's from something called the Relaxed Movement, and it's just an eleven hour and like fifty minute, uh, just straight along video, of um, streamer friendly background music. <laughs> Uh, and it's just, it's pretty good, and it's nice and, like, chill, relaxing, and it's just, yeah. It's good background music until I can get further into understanding how to make my own music. Because it's... Uh, it's very challenging to do. Yeah, it really um, is. I, I've been, like, I got a software for it, and I got, got the best software I think I can get, and I've been learning it, but I've had a lot win. less time. Uh, no, because I don't have the, um, I, I don't have the device for it. Um, I believe it's a, um, freaking, a, da, 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 da. isn't it like a Mac thing? Yeah, it is an, it is an Apple product. I mean, yeah. no, I should probably get to buying a charger for my laptop because I have a lot of files I need to go through on that computer. Um, specifically, I think... I might have pictures of me and my ex still on it because we were together when I got it in the deal. <laughs> but it it basically the cord died. Ah, fun, fun. I actually have a laptop that's sitting in front of me, um, and it's like a old used laptop, and like it's it's a pretty it's pretty slow. And ever since I set it up, I haven't really used it. I'm debating on, like, if I want to try and use it to, like, for instance, when I get free time at school, if I connect it up to the school Wi-Fi, which I totally could, um, I might just use it to, like, edit from there. I just have to, like, like quickly when I'm home, download the video onto that. And I'd have to download Blender, which is what I'm using to video edit right now. And I'm only using Blender to edit because i'm using it to animate right now and so like and i'm learning there's a lot of cool things that i can do with it i might end up transitioning to a different video editor maybe shotcut or something of the something along those lines i would i personally recommend keeping blender because one there's a lot of power in blender um, yeah you know there really is there, th there was a guy like we called him the blunder boy at my university because he wouldn't every other word out of his mouth was how great blender was and he would whine and cry it drove everyone and our professors nuts about it and then like on my last like semester literally the last week my professor looks at us and goes they're actually making me teach us how to use blunder <laughs> and of course his smile lit up and he was doing little dances like I told you so I told you so and we're like shut up Blender boy <laughs> I, I mean honestly like um, not to sound like Blender boy but it really is good <laughs> Drake I'm just, I'm just owning you <laughs> you're out of the guitar bloodline <laughs> no uh, your, your, as of this moment, your kneecaps are forfeit. I am sending them to Tekka. No, <laughs> no, not Tekka. Tekka guitar. <laughs> Tekka guitar. <laughs> you want to know? You want to know what's hilarious is like no one in this friend group, including Matt and Jay, have any idea about that. Yeah, no, that's um. Yeah, idea about what? That's for the OG Xbox player. <laughs> All uh, right, so. You. I was in a okay. This is gonna sound really nerdy, pigeon, but um. Oh yeah. I it always was does. Really bi I was. <laughs> How the hell do I say this without sounding like a freak? All right. Weed? So we were we played Halo Reach to the point where we were the ultra nerds. We did we did clan stuff. Which means, like, we all got together and we actually trained on how to get better at the game. And it was, like, a fun little community thing in the mo in most cases. Like, camaraderie and stuff. And we just worked to get better at this game. It was pretty cool. And 
the people closest related to those clans we called a bloodline or lineage because of we were role playing as the aliens in the yeah. game. Yeah. Please. Ah. <laughs> Don't judge wait, us too hard. That, that, <laughs> wait, 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 that's it. <laughs> Just, ah. <laughs> Just ah. <laughs> I don't know. What what did you expect me to say? Um are you freaking serious? Um, let's see, what else could you have said? <laughs> oh, you could have just left the call. <laughs> you, you could have totally just said, yeah. I see, and just blocked me. <laughs> yeah. I maybe. see, there's a crazy person among us. Also, uh, um, Karazin agrees with Blender Boy. Uh, <laughs> you know what, no, I can't, okay, so I can't talk smack because, you know, at the time, Maya was at my fingertips and it was really cool. But if you didn't know, the Maya software, the cheapest version, costs twelve hundred dollars a year to use. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's ah. horrible pricing. Uh, that, yeah, Why do you uh, need like twelve hundred dollars a year? Like there are, there are better like there are better animation softwares that are like one-time purchase sort of exactly. things. Like ah uh, and. Uh, uh, oh gosh it's because it's autodesk and their their biggest marketing thing and it's one of the things where it's like they're not wrong is that they're they're industry standard ah uh, yeah uh, and you know what i actually have to give this to uh gothic rift aka Matt's that they actually got me to see how stupid it was for me to spend money on Photoshop and the, yeah. the rest of that suite because I was spending like between 60 and $80 a month when there's free drawing software out there yeah. that does the same exact thing. You know, that, that's one of, like, the interesting things about the internet now is, like, for anything you really need, not only is there, like, a pretty expensive software to get what you need done done, but there's also a cheap one. <laughs> yeah. And or a now free with, one. Now, if that's said, in my opinion, I think the best software out of the Adobe, or I'm not sure, is it Adobe that owns Photoshop? Yeah, it is Adobe, is After Effects. You can literally oh you know Ad adobe after effects is actually really good like i've looked into what you can do with it i'm thinking that's going to be something that i like look into it's like specifically like that like because i've seen the type of editing that you can do like not only videos but um I image editing and stuff like that like it it's really good <laughs> it, it is really good it's really powerful you can make Hollywood level movies mm -hmm. with that a camera and a lot of patience. Oh yeah, no question. He might but, set up glowstone in this room. Yeah, Hooker um, Kane. But for now, oh, I think I'm just gonna have to torch, torch it. <sighs> um, hey, I don't want to be that guy, but isn't it like ten minutes after you wanted to stop? Yes, it is. Okay. I should probably log off now, actually. I'm, I'm proud of what I accomplished today. I accomplished Jack and Doodly, if I'm gonna be honest with you, so I'm not sure if I'm- well, I need to. Uh, I'm gonna plant my sugarcane, and I think that might be where my stream is ended. Alright, sounds good. So we just have some sugarcane to Oh, fly pigeon. Did the pigeon leave? Yes, oh, it did. they did. Oh, I like them. They, yeah. They're very punctual, straight to the point. I can respect yeah. that. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, man of few words. Or oh, actually, wait, no. Um, before I do that, and I need to check something real quick. Um... <laughs> They them pronouns, but they them. They them. Okay, that that's what I was looking for. They them. Okay. I mean, see, here's the awkward thing, is that I use man and dude, uh, gender neutrally. Yeah, the 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 yeah, there are a lot of people who do, and like, heck, for a while I did until, yeah. Um. 
you know it, it's it's an interesting thing but uh da -da -da. I would just like to thank you, Karazin, for coming along with me on this stream one final time. Uh, thank since you, we, yeah, since we're coming to a close, thank you, Pigeon, for coming in and adding to the commentary, uh, helping to, in and like honestly, just play Minecraft with us because it's really cool that these are part of that they are a part of the SMP. There we go. I uh, that's gonna take me a minute, but I'm gonna like I need to learn those things quickly. You do, um, or else, you. Or, or else I will tickle you. No, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Mole Man Whippy Chip, for accompanying me on this stream. Yes. Yes, uh, you are an amazing company as ever. It's really nice to actually be able to talk to you for like it's been a, it's been a minute. <laughs> You know, cutting cutting Xbox out of my life was such a blessing. Not, Honestly, not, it's so fucking toxic. Like, yeah. I hate it. Yeah, it is. Like I, I I cut it out. It's just like as soon as I started to do more computer stuff, I'm like I don't even really feel like getting back on the Xbox at all. I I, I really don't either. I'm talking about moving my Xbox in here into my studio to do videos, but like. I, I don't see a reason to, to just do it, but anyways, yeah, the, uh, please continue your outro. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually gave my Xbox away um, to my uh, sister because she lives in a like um, it, she, she lived in a place with like three roommates or two roommates and they didn't have a way to even like play movies or anything. Aww. And so I'm like, here, just take it. I haven't used this thing in months. Like, just take it. <laughs> uh and yeah uh but anyway um thank you um any to any future person who happens to be watching this whether it's an edited down version i don't know if i'm going to edit down the smp stuff or not so maybe it'll never be edited down um or just someone watching the vods i'm watching on youtube whatever um if we're on youtube catch my twit check out my twitch catch me live i'm fantastic i'm a crazy person and i try to bring enjoyable insanity before your eyes um check out my twitter which is right now just being used to announce when a stream is happening but eventually i might add some cool stuff like screenshots and stuff once i actually have more time to dedicate to it um and join my discord i very i very lonely and i enjoy you know people hanging out and be friends and stuff and it, like will tell you when i'm streaming i could potentially you know have people in call with me maybe while i do a stream like it could be for some fun stuff down the line um, but yeah, without any further menagerie and, um, like, just continuing on and on and on in this ramble, because I totally want another excuse to just keep streaming, um, this has been the great and mighty Waffles, who is now signing off. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. In the next stream I shall be doing insane craft. Look forward to it. Yes, goodbye, Garrison. <laughs>